after the merge, Ethereum went from proof of work to proof of stake. However, proof of work Ethereum is still working. So this was something expected. Basically, miners have to go somewhere. They can either join one of the previous coins. That's why uh, coins like Ravencoin or Ethereum Classic uh, were going up because they were proof of work uh, Ethereum like uh, coins. However, there are also coins that hard forked Ethereum from the previous state just before the match. So if you were on Ethereum, then basically going into one of those chains, you have exactly the same state. All the NFTs, all the ETH that you had, all the other coins that you had were basically copied onto a new chain. So that's a potential to make money basically because you can either sell or buy those new coins. Uh, However, it's super interesting because people were expecting that maybe there will be one fork. Uh, however, there are already two forks of Ethereum, which are proof of work uh, forks and probably more are coming. So pretty interesting. I wanted to highlight two of them, which were up and going uh, since basically a couple of hours ago. Uh, and you have all the information needed to connect to those chains. So the first one is Ethereum POW. Uh, or POW, Ethereum POW, basically this one was the first and currently is the largest. Uh, you can see uh, the whole website. The website is uh, ethereumpow.org. Uh, the coin is listed on CoinMarketCap. It's around $13. Uh, of course, there was a lot of selling pressure. It was around $20 yesterday. And right now, because people were selling that into, for example, OKX, because if you have positions on OKX in Ethereum, then you basically were airdrop uh, Ethereum POW, uh, this version of Ethereum POW. So that was pretty interesting. And a lot of people were selling that into, uh, into the exchange. Uh, so that's why the selling pressure and that's why it's, it went down 70%. Uh, but you have everything. It's basically going on. You have Ethereum POW on the OK link, so which means that you have the explorer of all the transactions and which also mean uh, that people will be uh, building on the new chain. Of course, that's yet to be seen. How many developers will stay with uh, Ethereum POW? How many will move to some other fork or just go with uh, the proof of stake version? Pretty interesting. Another one, another hard fork that is pretty uh, well, uh, pretty followed and it's up and running is Ethereum Fair uh, or ETF. That's, that's, the, uh, that's the current version of the, of the coin. Uh, so 200 million addresses, of course, because that's the, the copied version, the copied state from Ethereum. Uh, all the transactions being also copied from Ethereum. However, it's proof of work, not proof of stake. Uh, and you can see the coin also on CoinMarketCap uh, and basically uh, you can see that the, the coin currently is going a little bit higher than the Ethereum POW uh, at $18. But of course, because of the selling pressure, you should expect that those will fall down in the at least first couple of weeks uh, because people will be selling into, uh, into exchanges. This one is recognized by Poloniex. Uh, so this is another exchange and currently it's only on Poloniex, I guess, uh, while uh, Ethereum POW is on other exchanges as well. There is also an explorer of the blockchain uh, going on. Uh, so they have their own explorer on etherfair.org uh, and you can see how many blocks are there and the, the transactions of people. Uh, as far as I could see, uh, there's only one miner currently. So that's, that's uh, it's pretty centralized blockchain right now with one miner, uh, as you could imagine. Uh, so that's probably connected with uh, Poloniex as well. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it might be interesting if they if they pull out uh, uh, if they make like uh, you know like all, all the infrastructure around it and make it into an interesting blockchain. Uh, however, be careful while trading on either Ethereum Fair or Ethereum uh, Pow uh, because it's very early. Those were the copies of Ethereum, um, so the team behind those uh, Ethereum's are anonymous to some extent. Uh, the, the websites are really basic. So for now it's running, but 
uh, myself I'm, I'm waiting and holding for uh, like some kind of announcements what's the team what's the plan what's the roadmap uh, and then it will be interesting to see what will go on what other hard forks of ethereum like pow uh, hard forks will be out there that that's also gonna, gonna be interesting um, so yeah but definitely super interesting to see this kind of uh, proof of work uh, competition and uh, fork wars in a way uh, this is basically what happened after the hard fork with Ethereum Classic. There were a bunch of other forks as well competing for uh, competing for the attention. In the end, Ethereum Classic won as the largest fork. Uh, the same thing will happen here. Currently, Ethereum Power and Ethereum Fair are the largest competitors, but there might be another uh, newcomer that will claim to be the one and only uh, Ethereum POW. So yeah, pretty interesting stuff. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know uh, what, what you think about the proof of work version of Ethereum. Um, yeah, really interesting. Subscribe for more news. I'll be probably covering all, both chains and more in the future. So give me a like and see you in the next episode.